At a presentation of a vision for a new Curra, the Minister for Agriculture, Food, the Marine and Defence, Simon Coveney, announced plans for a 65 million euro redevelopment of the Curra to be financed jointly by HRI and private investment. These development plans for the race course include a new grandstand, weigh room and parade ring, while the arrivals and reception area of the race course will incorporate a museum of Irish racing. The Minister welcomed the establishment of a new company, Curra Race Course Limited, which will own, operate and redevelop the Curra Race Course and training grounds. This will be quite unique because it will be a partnership between the private sector uh, and government, if you like, in terms of state funding, uh, as well as very significant private uh, investor contributions uh, and we will have a piece of infrastructure that um, uh, that's going to cost somewhere between 65 and 70 million euros uh, that will be put together now. We've had an international architectural design competition uh, to get lead architects and a consortium uh, uh, has been chosen for that. The infrastructure needs to be in place. Uh, unfortunately in recent years we haven't been able to afford to make the kind of investment in racing infrastructure that was needed but we now can afford that. Uh, and in partnership with, um, with the private sector and we're lucky to have some extremely committed people to Irish racing who want to see this happen and who want to support that financially uh, and I think that partnership is going to be a great success. A period of consultation will now take place in advance of the submission of a planning application. It's hoped that the new Curra race course will open in 2018 and the intention is that racing will continue throughout the development period. The plan would be uh, to lodge a planning application at the end of this year um, then hopefully uh, work will start at the end of the 2016 season. So physically on site, I don't think you'll see any difference on site until the end of the 2016 season. Uh, from there then what will happen is that uh, we will race with temporary facilities through 2017 um, and then with a phased opening in 2018. So uh, hopefully you know, we'll be in a position for Derby 2018 to, to have facilities you know, more or less ready to go. But you know, obviously, listen, you can't take anything for granted. There's a, there's a lot of hurdles to cross, uh, which is a bit ironic for a flat race track, but uh, we have a lot of hurdles to cross between now and then. And um, obviously, you know, hopefully we get a clear run in planning and that uh, the building process you know, works uh, as we would like it to. The Curra is the home of horse racing in Ireland and I suppose it has been uh, starved of some development in recent years waiting for a major redevelopment and it's great to be announcing it today, a uh, new development uh, target to open in 2018 and I think it will give a wonderful boost to racing here at the Curra and racing in general. There will be three groups of shareholders who will form the board of the new company which will be chaired by Kildare native, former chief executive of the ESB and current chairman of AIR, Porrick McManus. I think sometimes, you know, uh, if it takes a little longer to get to these things, you know, it can cause disappointment, but sometimes it works better because what we have now is we have everybody in the sector involved. Uh, we have the Turf Club, we have HRI, we have all the big breeders, we have the industry, and everybody is behind the project. And I think that one of the really significant things for me that through all that sort of arrangements and difficulties and legal documents that we had to sort out to get the project to where it is today. Everybody really wanted the project to happen and I think that's, that, was the, that was the big driving force that everybody wanted to see that happen and I think when you have that kind of support behind it, you know, it's, 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 it's a really great starting point to be at. Discussions are underway with other parties and further private investment is anticipated. The development has been widely welcomed by some of the greats of Irish flat racing. We need to make it a special place to come racing again. Uh, the facility needs to go, you know, really need, badly need to be upgraded. We've got to entice the young people and uh, to come racing and, and, and uh, enjoy their experience and look towards the future and, and uh, get more people coming back racing to watch a, a fantastic sport. It's a natural amphitheatre. It's an amazing racetrack. It's certainly in the top three of the world, in my opinion. And uh, it's great uh, to have the backing now of both private investment and government to maintain it for the future. We must remember that it is an industry and we must remember the number of people that are employed. There's between 17 and 20,000 people employed directly or indirectly in Irish racing. And it's a rapidly growing industry. We must remember it's an industry that involves every county in Ireland. And uh, so it, it's very important that the centrepiece of that uh, will have a facelift and will be something that we'd all be proud of for the future. The company will assume full responsibility for the Curra Racecourse development project and, with effect from the 1st of January 2016, the business, assets and staff of the Curra Racecourse and the training grounds will transfer over to the new company.